Steve Phipps, the government's top witness in several public corruption cases involving state lawmakers and elected officials, had no comment after sentencing in federal court this morning. In court, Phipps did say he was sorry for what he had done and wanted to make amends. Over the past few years, Phipps provided key testimony in several high-profile cases. He testified that he and business partner, former state senator Gene Stipe, used straw donors to make illegal campaign contributions. His testimony also helped seal the conviction of former state auditor Jeff McMahon and his wife Lori on bribery and conspiracy charges. Assistant U.S. Attorney Gay Guthrie commended Phipps for cooperating with prosecutors. It was an extraordinary uh, effort at cooperation and probably the most extraordinary one I've ever seen in my career. And what characterized that? The extent of it and the truthfulness, the candor of it. In exchange for his cooperation, the government dropped all but one charge against Phipps. Phipps pled guilty to one count of conspiracy and was sentenced to one year and one day behind bars, plus two years probation. In addition, he was fined $50,000, and the judge also ordered him to pay restitution to the state. It wasn't what his attorney, Dan Weber, expected. We were disappointed that Mr. Phipps did not get a sentence of probation, especially in light of the uh, historic cooperation, what the government called extraordinary cooperation that Mr. Phipps gave in the political corruption investigation. As the government said, he broke the code of silence really in the uh, Little Dixie political machine and uh, several elected officials uh, and others were brought to justice as a result. Um, we believe probation would have met the objectives of sentencing just like it was viewed to have met the purposes of sentencing, sentencing for Francis Stipe. Um, Francis Stipe was offered and it was approved that he receive a, a sentence of probation and a monetary penalty, and we felt the same was appropriate for Mr. Phipps. Former State Representative Mike Mass was also sentenced this morning. He also pled guilty to one count of conspiracy for helping former State Senator Gene Stipe defraud taxpayers by improperly using economic development funds. Mass received a two-year prison term, plus two years probation, and was ordered to pay restitution. I thought the sentencings were just. We're satisfied that justice has been done in the case. Phipps and Mass will jointly pay a total of $279,258 in restitution to the state, but the judge did not specify how much of the total each is responsible for. And there's no word on whether Phipps or Mass will appeal their sentence. Each has 10 days to make a decision. The judge ordered Phipps to report to prison by late July, Mass next month. In Muskogee, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.